Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel today. I am playing the Phoenician with, you've seen him before. He's been on this channel, hey Patrick! Yo. Oh man, look at these stars. <laughs> you popping are popping, popping. Yeah. He is doing his tour again in an RV. RGV. RG, it makes so sense, it checks out. It's <laughs> it a recreational out. golf vehicle. We're setting the world record this year. I'm gonna play 500 courses in a single year. Nobody's ever done it. In the history of time, nobody's played this much golf, um, and I'm going to be the I'm going to be the first to play 500 courses, different 18 hole golf courses in a single year. 450 will set the record, um, but I'm going for five because it's it's in more of an even number. It makes sense. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to have some fun out here today. So enjoy this course vlog, and it is freezing. I am wearing. Two pairs of leggings. Two pairs. Double leggings. Double legs. <laughs> double leggings. A beanie. We got some fuzzy socks on. I would not play in this weather for anyone but you. So. Oh uh, well, thank you. I have only have one pair of pants on, but they are red, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna. We're, we're kicking it off with uh, Ace Cam, right? Yeah, Ace Cam. Going in. Kasha, have you ever had a hole in one? I am zero for like sixteen thousand in my <laughs> life. So if this goes in, it's gonna be a big deal. This is hole three at the Phoenician, 127 yards. It is tracking people, it is tracking. Oh, right. I Not gave a bad, I gave you a bad number. I couldn't see it. Not this time. Ace Cam, back wow. soon. So I've been traveling a ton and really haven't been able to practice or play. So this is my first 18 holes in a very long time. And to be honest, game rough <laughs> it is rough and i have this match against john daly june 5th and so i'm gonna need to get my game in shape which i'm excited about because i want to practice i want to play i want to get better and so we're gonna look at all of my shot scope data we're gonna use that to improve and we're gonna get the game back and I'm gonna take you along with me on the journey. But today is a, this is a day we're gonna fight through because uh, I don't know where the ball is going. Um, short game shots, putty, everything is rough. And that happens. And I'm sure you guys feel that way too after the winter where you haven't hit or practiced at all and then you come back out and it is hard to get back into playing shape. But we're gonna do it together. And this year we're gonna play the best golf of our life this summer. This is hole seven, a par four. We're gonna do a little match on here. We're gonna do a three hole match. So we're going to do seven, eight, and nine. Three hole match? Three hole match. I didn't know about this three hole match. I'm making it up as I oh, go. okay, okay. Cause well, we have your two hole match, which we'll do on the ooh, back nine. It's a, two, so. it's a two hole duel. <laughs> a this duel. Is a, this is a three hole match. Yeah. Oh, I like this now that mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're, you're going down. <laughs> Patrick with iron off the tee. Gotta go, baby. Go. Oh, oh! It, went. it went. That's perfect. All right, Paige is teeing it up. You can tell she's nervous. This three-hole duel. Um, she's seen my game. She's. I've never won against Patrick. We have played multiple matches, and I have been unsuccessful in every single one of them. Well, here's the three. Here's your chance, Paige. Three-hole duel. Tee ball. Paige. And there's no surprise it's down the middle. She does a little leg kick thing I think we saw. Good shot. In the fairway here with Paige and she's got 110 yards left and a fist pump for the fans. Boy, they are rowdy out here in Phoenix. Oh, good shot, good form. A little left of the flag, very nice. You move in for the post shot interview. Well, it felt good. I was fully committed to the shot. I've been trying to stay just one shot at a time and not get too ahead of myself. And I cut that a little chunky, but it's okay. People, I think they're gonna like the, my reflection of my stars in your sunglasses. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. this is a very tight close-up <laughs> angle. Patrick is already playing mind games. He was waiting in the car because he thought that he was all the way up there, but we are actually, what, at both 110. I don't know if that's really a successful mind game. You're in my head. I'm in her head. I'm just distracted by the stars. Ooh, that could be really good. 
Is oh, that is really good. It is really good. How'd you feel about that shot? Well, it was the dead center of the club face, which only happens once or twice around, but that was like the dead center. Real special moment there. Oof. <laughs> and on record, we do fill our divots that, oh, and other people's divots. Oh yeah, I get like one and then at least like seven more. Karma, yeah. good golf karma. Fill your divots, friends. Paige is just off the green here. She's got, as you can see, this would be like about a 20 footer. And um, pretty solid putt. It didn't what? The valley. The well, valley. Oh, valley effect. The valley effect is what she says. A little, bit of, a little bit of a break here. Okay. Patrick has about a four and a half footer for his birdie putt. One down page. This is hole number eight, a par five. Patrick is one up after his great birdie on hole seven. Oh, up the right side. Let's see if he can carry the bunker. And it did because <laughs> that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's how the cookie crumbles. Is that a trademark page phrase, or I believe that's from uh, somebody else? That's was that Jim Carrey and yeah, uh, I won't take credit for that one. Okay, yeah, uh, we throw in some boom goes the dynamite there for you. That's a that's a hardcore throwback. Oh, down the middle with the draw, heading towards the bunker. I think it might come up short. Yep, she's in the fairway. She'll be happy. Okay, let it be known that Paige and I are playing the same tees, so um, that's a little bit of an advantage here for me, but 240. All right, another good shot. She's just gonna have a little chip left. It's perfectly placed. 220. What are you hitting? I got a, I got a little two iron, 220 two iron. I mean, if I hole out, I can just end the match right now, right? Right? That's such a good shot. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, short. Short. Let's be a breeze up there. All right. Paige has got. What do you got, Paige? I have 78 yards into this green. It's a two tiered green. So I'm going to try to hit it a little bit farther and use that backstop to let it spin back. So that's that's the goal. That's what's up here. Two tiered green. All right. Can she get it all the way back there? That's the real challenge with the juice. Mm, it's a good shot, but it's not going to get up on the back stop. It didn't get up on the I front stop. It didn't do anything that I said I wanted to do. <laughs> it was a good plan. <laughs> I did the exact opposite of that, um, but I, I hit it well. I just not far enough. Yeah. So, Patrick, you are off the green but you're putting how do you feel about texas wedges well i'm going to texas soon so i got to get ready for texas um you know for me it's all about a judgment call i look at it and be like i want to chip that or i want to putt that it's a, it's a feel um now as i'm getting up here i'm like i probably should have bought my wedge to give me the option because i'm not loving the putt as much but i'm going to roll with it anyways and um no that, pun intended right and uh and it's it really is for me it's a it's a judgment call on like what you're most confident with. How do you tell guys to get over their fear of being judged by their friends for hitting a putter off the green? Um, I mean, you, you, you roll it tight and then you punch them in the face, you know? <laughs> I mean, the results will speak for themselves. Um, but yeah, there should be, you know, I do what I want. I mean, you should really own it, you know? If you, you just do anything with confidence, people will back you up. Yeah, with, with confidence. Right. Do it with confidence. Patrick has this long putt for Eagle. Get it hard. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a home run. You got it there. <laughs> what Paige has got here. This is 40 feet up a slope. Not easy. Mm, it's left. That's tough. That's a tough putt. 
Some work left. A lot of work left. A lot of meat on those bones. For birdie. Patrick has this birdie putt to close out the match. Okay, I can He's breathe freely finally. now. <laughs> Paige on the worm cam. Oh, she pushes it and she gets down. Two <laughs> thumbs up, two thumbs up. This is hole number nine, our third hole in our match. I am still one down yep. and it is a par four at 367 yards. Patrick is going iron off the tee. Up the right side should be perfect. Does that hat help your swing? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta stay balanced, you know, because if you have too much head movement, it's just really gonna throw you off, you know? Right. That's a good little, good little uh, segue there to her, your tee shot, which is, yeah, we got 364. She's got the big dog. She's gonna, looking right down the middle here. There it goes, right down the middle with the draw. Gosh, that's good. So Patrick has 180 yards, water on the left side, kind of a scary shot. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree that it's very scary? Terrifying. Oh, fading back. Flirted with it. Flirted with the danger. It started off left. Dude. It started off left and it had a nice little feedback. How did like you a, feel over the ball? Were you nervous? It was like a Halloween horror movie. You know, I barely got out of the door before the guy stabbed it. And now we're running. We're running. We're going to make birdie and close out this match. So I have 123 yards to the pin. A nice little easy nine iron. I like the way the pin is setting up for me. And this is where I make my... I come back to tie the match. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's she's clearly proven her dominance by outdriving me significantly on this hole here. Let's see how she handles the wedge. Oh, that's a good shot. It's probably going to be pretty close. If it's the right distance, yeah, it's a good look at birdie. Not not a great kick, but um, good solid shot. And I have a putt for a birdie to tie the match. Oh, okay, guys. I mean, it's truly the tables have turned here. Paige was thinking that uh, she was going to be closer, and it turns out that I'm closer. I'm actually uphill. She's got a little oh, downhill slider. putt here, slider. Not the easiest putt in the world. Not the easiest putt in the world, but this would be huge if it goes in. Oh, it's got a good line. It's got a good. Oh, it's going to miss low. And look at it go. We move in for the heartbreak cam. You can see it written all over her face. Oh, she knows the match is nearly over. Oh. Devastated. I had to give it a run because I had to make birdie and uh, it didn't, didn't happen for me. Oh, there it is, the heartbreak like, cam. Like, just like <laughs> getting any closer. It's so close. <laughs> Patrick has his birdie putt. This would be a real cherry on the top scenario. <laughs> That's take one. They won't believe it, but that was take one. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I want a record that for our three hole match, Patrick went two under through three holes and I lost. And on hole 10, what does he do? He snap hooks it into the shit. He's re teeing right now, he is reloading. Yeah, down the center. So that is all for the course vlog today. If you are in the Arizona area, go check out the Phoenician. It's a really fun golf course. And Patrick, where can they follow along for the RGVT? Art. Art GV, which means, <laughs> stands for Recreational Golf Vehicle, which is what I'm driving around in. That's my website and Instagram. It's PJ Koenig, pjkoenig.com. And download the Golf Gamebook app. I'm putting all my scores in there. You'll be able to see the, the beat down. What was it? What was it? Two up? 
two, <laughs> two, two, two up through three, three holes. Well, you know? we, we, I feel like we had to do a little loser locker room interview. I mean, how does it feel yet again to suffer a, a, another devastating defeat? You know, it doesn't feel great. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't feel great. I am getting used to losing, which is even worse. Yeah, that, you don't want to get used to that. I don't want to get used to it, but I am used to it. But we always do a model off. And I've won that oh. every single time. Oh, so man. I'm still a winner. I'm still a winner. And I'll hold on to that. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next Thursday.